My surgery. Lining things up for me? Not quite. Not yet. The process is complicated. But my finger's on the pulse. I'm on my way out of Night City. We'd like to meet up, face to face. Troop to station out South Caliway. Reed? Okay. Attention to all fans. This is Ben. Colonel Kurt Hansen is Ben. Our team, Kurt Hansen is Ben. The dog say is in the town. Our colonel went out the way he lived. Nick of time. Minutes on, you'd have found my tracks. That's it. Ta-ta, Night City. Mm-hmm. After ten damn years. I'm needed in D.C., or so I'm told. Long-ass way to drive, June. Well, trains just rub me wrong. Besides which, I need time to think things through. Lots of things, lots of time. Songbird had her surgery yet? Gonna see her? Somi's in good hands. Has a lot of rehab to look forward to. Be a while before she's back being herself. And what? Congressional hearings? Myers is too pragmatic for that. She'll reinstate Somi to the FIA, let her continued service be her penance. Okay, Reed, what's on your mind? What you need from me? I can't sleep. I'm trying to break things down. I keep asking myself. And I don't know, but maybe you do. Somi. Up there in Space Force One. She raised you on the hollow, not me. Why? Song sense died understand. What with death sentences hanging over both our heads. Sentence was carried out in a way in my case. Somi would have remembered that. Banished from her life for seven years. Left her to her own devices. Contact would have been unwise, so impossible. I played the role I had to. Song knew the truth, though. Knew full well you were no traitor. Well, as I saw it, I was protecting her. Might well have botched some choices you faced in life. Not my place to judge. One thing's sure, though. Consequences of your mistakes. Gotta learn to live with them. Hmm. Time for me to fly. An honesty much appreciated, V. You deserved it, Saul. Await contact. I'll ring you when the surgeons are ready.
poor fucking bastard. Feel sorry for him? You? Dunno, maybe. Guy's bankrupt, all out of hope. Gonna hang himself. You'll see. Had seven years to do that and didn't. He's got a chance to turn his life around now. Chum lost everything. Literally. Just hasn't realized it. Yet. His president proved herself a war criminal. His friend flipped him a fucking club-sized bird. His ideals, bottom of the cesspit, choking on shit. He'll hang himself. Surgeons have devised the right neural matrix command. You ready to kick that construct to the curb? Okay. Yeah. I'm ready. An FIA AB can pick you up stat. I just need a meeting point. Preferably secluded. Place called Misty's Esoterica. Roof of the building. Right. We'll be standing by. Say you told the FIA to stick their offer where the sun don't shine. Just don't make the call to read. We'll find another way. Do what now? Message. Didn't see it? 
They want to wipe me. Need me to explain the ins and outs? Shit was clear as the summer sky already. You think they'd suck you out of one head, drop you in another? Well, thought I'd get packed and shelved. And in the best of all possible worlds, that you'd help me hop on the net. Not that they'd excise me like some fucking tumor. Figuring out something that might work versus a surgical procedure. <laughs> Choice is clear, Johnny. Raisin Reed on the hollow. Meeting point. You there? Bet I am. Actually eager to be clinic bound. AV's on his way. It won't be long now. So this is how it ends. Sorry, Johnny. I am. Just... FIA's powerful. Gives me the best chance. I get it. I do. Your choice to make. Not mine. Just need... a moment to think. James Weiss, FIA. I guess you're V, is that right? If I may? It's an honor to meet the woman who rescued the president of the NUSA. Great. Thanks. Where's Reed? Didn't make the trip with you? He got held up. On assignment. Not to worry. You're in good hands. Come on. Kinda nervous, not gonna lie. Lozano, pleasure. I'll be among those operating on you. Let's start with a quick nervous system scan. You mind giving me your personal link? So, how's it looking, Doc? Hmm. I'd say the prognosis is good. Neural network degradation looks reversible. Was thinking. Wanna get one last look at Night City? That beautiful old bitch. What do you say? I wanna bid the city goodbye. Mind opening the door? Don't worry. You'll be back here in no time. Can never be too sure. Just open it. You shook my hand, Weiss. Indulge me? There it is. Night City. 
at your feet. Was it always this small? Or did you just get too big for it? I was just fighting to survive. So was I. Except your fight made all the difference. It's okay, V. You're allowed to be a little proud of yourself. So, you saying you and me, we're good? Made our piece of the oil fields. Nothing's changed since then. Just glad you'll pull through and that I got the chance to call you my friend. All right, have it your way. First thing you'll do once they discharge you, go. Drink to my comrade in arms. Damn right you will. I wonder how things would have turned out if we'd never met. First, bullet to the brain would have ended you on the spot. Second, would have never survived the rest without my expert advice. I wanted to crack a lame joke, put up some saccharine sweet lie, but now it looks like you beat me to it. Truth is, I don't know, V. Maybe you'd have lived a quiet, normal life, or gotten shipped in a jail cell. But sweet lady fate brought us together and put us through some shit. It's what counts. I've got readings spiking. Strong emotions. Let's do this. We want your brain burden free. Never know how stress might affect it. Think this is it, kiddo? Yes, so. Promise me one thing, will you? I promise. No idea what, but I promise. Not asking you to never give up. Sometimes you gotta let go. Just don't let anyone change who you are, okay? Johnny, I've. Good night, Valerie. Today was a good day. She sees me now. 
Pay. Can you hear me? said that? When? Wise. In the AV. You weren't there. Right. That. Wasn't any reason for me to be there then. Now? Yeah. I felt I owed you this. Need to ask. How's so me? Everything work out all right? I've been cut off from updates for a while now. She's alive. That's all I know. So, how's life? How's things? Ah, uh, paperwork, training recruits, nothing to write home about. Not your style of work, sounds like. I can manage field work anyway. Not anymore. How do you know when I'd wake? Doctor's estimates. You were supposed to be conscious by today. Tomorrow latest. They started bringing you up a few days ago. Controlled process. Putting in a personal appearance. Bad news. Gotta be. Just tell me. Surgery was a bust, right? Never that simple. Doc saved you. You're alive. You're in a big-ass butt in there. Because there is one. Deep invasive work on your nervous system. To cut the engram out safely. me I wiped Johnny sacrificed him for nothing not for nothing your life your neurons can no longer handle most implants chrome your brain can manage your personal link and simple co-processors. But any use of a combat implant, well, it could kill you. I'm sorry, V, but the life you used to know is gone. There's uh, one other thing. You were out for two years. It's 2079. <laughs> Imagine the future would look a little different. A joke. Shit, I'm impressed. <laughs> what good would it do to read your reality? Don't see any sense in it. I wish I could help you, V, but I can't. <laughs> Same shit. Always. Peeps wanting to help me. Never being able to. Why? Are you... You all right? I need... I need... Need some hair. <laughs> Blacks are 
Shelly. Can barely stand. Been laid up for two years, V. Damaged my nervous system. <laughs> Can hardly believe it. Why, why didn't they use nanobots? Neural matrix. Apparently, it reduced your cell's regenerative capacity. We tried everything. Really? What? What about my chrome? Your implants have been deactivated. Didn't need to do it. Your survival depended on it. Need to get out of here and see you. When can I go back? Today, if that's your wish. But you should ask yourself... Cream, where's my stuff? V, listen to me. Your body, it ain't going back to what it was. And then she's a city where you just won't manage. Not anymore. Why the hell you care? We truly appreciate what you did for us. We can set you up with a job here at Langley. And what would I do? Be your assistant, errand rover? I know you're trying to help, but you damn well know that's not for me. I know I'd feel better seeing you off the street. This isn't my life, Reed. But it could be, given your old one is long gone. Dunno, someday maybe. Need to think. But now, going home to NC, definitely. Didn't escape death just to waste away here. <sighs> Up to you. Once you know where you're headed, call the nurse. And if you change your mind, you know where to find me. Reed. Thank you. No need, V. You've got no reason to thank me. In U.S. clinic. Had surgery. That's a long story. Must have been a long operation, too. Gruesome. Bloody. Spent most of that time in a coma. Unplanned, obviously. Wow, V. Thought I'd never see you again. Should be dead, I know. Good news is, finally found a way to excise the biochip. What? How? Telling me Silverhand's out? You're gonna remain uh, yourself? Forever and ever. A hundred percent V. V? That is beyond Nova. So damn nice to know some stories actually get a happy ending. Dealing with some drawbacks. 
I... I'll uh, never fully recover. I'm alive, sure, but... I have no idea what comes next. Shit. Are you serious? Really sorry, V. Hope you figure it out. Get yourself set up again. Of course I'll make it. Got you on my side. I was afraid you'd say something like that. What? The listen. A lot's changed. I'm in Pittsburgh, for one. <laughs> Finally ditched in sea. And no worries, I'll just fly over to you. No, not to me. Um to us. Got married. That's not... <laughs> Wasn't expecting that. Two years, V. I was lonely, lost in my head. First Evelyn, then you. <laughs> no way I would have made it alone. Gonna miss you. Yeah. But I'm good now, V. Please, don't take that away. Don't have much of a choice, do I? Goodbye, V. And I'm sorry. Someone grinding your gears again? Holy fuck. V? Or is it Johnny? V. V, it's me. <laughs> the one and only. Fuck me! I can't believe it. <laughs> Goddamn preem you're alive, Joe! Kinda figured you might be happy. What about you? Care what's up? Career going strong? Actually, fuck yeah. Thanks for asking. Sitting on the Crystal Palace as we speak. Played a gig yesterday, had this beaut fucking view of Europe. Shit. V, wish you were here. Yeah, I'm not really in a partying mood right now. Okay, Spill. Sums up. Well, just woke up from a two-year coma. Gee, shit. Can you not, Joe? I'm on a call. Is that not clear? Yeah, care? Did you uh, hear yeah. what I... Yeah. Did you say coma? Yeah. Uh, got surgery. That's why I'm alive, but... Didn't work out. Not completely. Fuck. Sorry, sounds like shit. You need anything? Uh, Eddie's maybe, or, um... Need a friend, Care. Really rather not be alone right now. What the now. hell did I say, Yuki? Let him fucking tune! I don't need to hold her hand, as long as it's all harmony. Kiri? V. Uh, you know I'd love to help. I really would. But I... I just can't swing it. Playing Paris tomorrow, then Kiev. If not for the tour, I'll be flying your way already. Looking like everybody needs Carrie once peace of you. Yeah, it's a crap coincidence, you know. Lots going on. Shit luck. Yeah. Shit luck. What do you think? Can I see you again? Of course you will! Listen, 
Shoes on back, come on over. We'll go wherever you want. Give me a couple of months. Or... Okay, uh, four. Four tops. Deal? Sure. Deal. Uh, yeah, I... Uh, listen, uh, V. In the middle of something, kind of. I gotta go. They're calling me back on stage. Uh, yeah, you, you wanna shoot the shit later? Hit me up on the hollow. You have reached Pan Am Palmer. We're sorry, the subscriber is currently outside the service area. Please leave a message or call again later. Hey, hey old Pan Am. Guess who's back from a little uh, involuntary vacay. <laughs> but bad jokes aside, uh, guess you must have wondered where I'd gone. So, brass tacks, I had surgery. Docs just brought me out of a coma. Gonna live. New lease and all, but not on the greatest terms. It'd just be great right now. Really great if I could see you. You... Find a moment, ring me back, yeah? See you soon. I'm only gonna say this once. I'm in no mood for pranks. So if you don't- Hey there, Vic. V? Is it really you? What? Rate me off that fast? <laughs> Gotta admit, I knocked back a glass or two over your symbolic grave. But how are you... Uh, why? So, this Netrunner I met got me involved in this FIA op. They promised surgery, cure using the runner's tech in exchange. And it worked, but not without complications. A two-year coma, for one. God damn it. That's a chunk of life there. <laughs> yep. I mean, they saved me, new lease on life, but... Chrome's a no-go for me now, even simple muscle boosters. Is that what they told you? Quacks, I bet. They overlook something. I just know it. Come see me, V. Be on my way to see you soon. Usual spot. Yeah. In a manner of speaking. I'll see you, V. You know the address. Thank you. Night City. Can I get a flight there? Of course. An AV is ready and waiting. I'll come get you now. Back on your feet. It's nice to see that finally. Did you hear? 
hear my question? I asked if you find the liquor I procured for Mr. Vector suitable. Darren will know it is. I shan't deny that out of sheer courtesy. <clears throat> Sorry. Zoned out for a sec. That's quite all right. It is truly a pleasure to see you back and in good health. Though I cannot help but notice your rather vacant stare. Might I ask how you're feeling at the present moment? No, hasn't sunk in yet. Feels like just yesterday I was at home in these streets. Part of them. If it's any comfort to you, from where I sit, not as much has changed as you might think. I must merely make donations of tribute to somewhat different people. How's biz, Del? Betty's flowing in? I'm afraid I have been better. The matter of those insubordinate vehicles proved quite troublesome. For a time, I was forced to hide from law enforcement. Hmm, huh, sorry to hear that. You need it to the moment. I'm sure you have more pressing matters to attend to. So, bribes. Whose palms you grease in these days? Most often to corporate security. You might have noticed they're out in force, protecting new corporate locations. NCPD let that slide. In the event of any conflict, the weaker yield to the mightier. Some things never change. You think we could swing by my place? Of course. I shall pull your address now and... Oh. What's up? It appears you were evicted a year ago due to unpaid rent. I'm afraid I cannot fulfill your request. <sighs> Fuck me. Man, been a while since I was last here. What else has changed? The most significant is Arasaka pulling the bulk of its operations out of Night City. I imagine you could be interested in hearing the latest news. I shall turn on the radio. And now, this week's scorching hot question, Yorinobu Arasaka, what happened? Joining us today, Masao Adams, author of Arasaka's biography, A Dragon Tamed. Glad to have you on the show. It's a pleasure to be here, Stan. An Arasaka spokesperson recently announced that Yorinobu has stepped down yep, as CEO. Yeah, continue off now. Thanks. True? As you wish. Arasaka's on the back foot, huh? It appears so. Other corporations have wasted no time in attempting to fill the void. Well, Johnny, you got your wish. Arasaka's on the way out. Except it's like playing Whack-A-Corp. Hit one, three others pop up. Uh, are you talking to me? No, to myself. It doesn't matter. We have arrived. I shall await your return here. Better get going. One last thing, if I may. We all eventually run out of fuel, but that hardly means the journey wasn't pleasant. Hey, girl, hold up. Oh, come on. Do we gotta? You're not from around here, are you? Welcome to our Zeta Tech Network right. Clinic. How may I help you? Here to see Victor. Mind if I go through? Do you have an appointment? Yeah, private one. Ah, right. I see a note right here. Please hurry in. The next patient is due to arrive soon. Hey, 
Vic. So good to see you, old Ripper. V. How long's it been? <laughs> Depends on your point of view. Ha! <laughs> You're making a habit of this. Rising from the dead. I actually thought I'd never see you again. Come on. You're gonna make me cry, Vic. What would be wrong with that? Anyway, got you a little something. They have this rule, no drinking anywhere in the clinic. I could get reprimanded. Ooh. Well, hang on a minute. Oh, same one Jack and I knocked back. Championship bout for the middleweight title. Malone vs. Kano. Remember it as if it was yesterday. Ain't good to have memories. It grounds you. Yeah, good times. Things changed. No denying it. Jackie's gone. So's Missy's shop. <laughs> and all her sense. <sighs> all right. Come on. Hop in the chair. Okay, let's get to this. <laughs> That's the attitude. So tell me, what's it like to be back among the living? It ain't easy, but can't call it all bad. I'm back. Indefinitely. Finally managed it. A hard-won victory's still a win. And you? Feeling like a winner these days, Vic? What are you trying to say, exactly? Sure hope you know what you're doing. Corp web? Pretty hard to escape once you're caught in it. Not to mention, you're a fucking honed specialist. This chain came looking, knocking, pressured me pretty hard. In a bid to survive, I gave them an indecently high price. They agreed to pay it. Something tells me Misty didn't go along with this. And that's why she left. You mind if we leave that alone? Am I wrong? She is the sensitive sort. Changes unpleasant ones happening all around her. She stopped feeling good here. I no wonder. I miss her. Hope things work out for her. Hope they work out for all of us. Think we could have chosen better? All of us? No. Hmm. No hesitation. If there'd been better options, we'd have picked them. Or convinced ourselves they weren't better at all. Even you've grown cynical. Just being honest with myself. We all have to let go sometime. No other way. Well, your core looks fine. Good, even. Let's take a look at your motor cortex. Hmm. So? First time I've seen anything like this. Your cortex seems to have turned deaf to implant signals. Maybe reinstall the neuroport firmware. No, no, that did. Maybe switch to binary signaling. That's a risk of shock. A life threatening kind. Said you could do something, Vic. I. I was wrong. 
I'm sorry. Please, don't worry, Vic. Didn't come with high hopes anyway. Not good. You have to believe there's something out there for you. Self-delusion. That's what you advise. No. I just want you to accept your reality. You've changed, yes. But you're alive. Look at me. I had to adapt too. Still doing what I most love though. Should I start aiming lower too? Could be the key to happiness. It's not easy settling. With time though, you realize you no longer remember why you wanted it any other way. <laughs> what if I want to remember? Wish I knew what to tell you, kid. Vector, come on quick. I ran into trouble. Need surgery. It's m <clears throat> Ah, are you running late? I can't now, Tyler. Drop in tomorrow. Drop in tomorrow? This is my friend. No affiliation to the firm. Come back later, please. It's important to me. <clears throat> you got it wrong, man. You're on contract. Got a patient, Vic. Tyler, please. Don't worry about me. Ugh. V. You can't know how sorry I am. Vector! Hey, swing by to see me anytime, yeah? Of course. Of course, I'll drop by. Close the door on your way out, okay? I need to look to Tyler's pressing problem here. Well, well. See that, Jimmy? She a corporate rat. Chill, man. Easy. Come on, hand over your scratch. Let's go. Not a suit. Not a corpo. Take me for a fool, fool? Clinic you just walked out of Zeta Tech. Eddie's player, now. Not a good time, Chumba. Like I give a shit. Give me money. Got me. No denying it. Arasaka. Used to be, but I got the boot. Actually, we got shit in common, Jooms. Badges are my bane. And baton across the back. I nursed my bruises at El Coyote. El Coyote ain't round no more. Man, you a lazy girl. Not even bothering to weave a convincing story. Booyah! <laughs> Now, are you in one piece? I'm fine, mostly. Just a bit busted up, is all. Those guys must have been real good to knock you down like that. No, Misty, it wasn't them. It was me. I'm no good, not anymore. Oh, is that the relics doing? I know I should be worried, but honestly, I'm just so glad to see you. Missed you so much, Misty. Though it feels like I saw you last Tuesday. Just two years, V. Blink of an eye for the universe. It must be hard for you, I know. But hardships pass too, as all things. Not quite that simple, Misty. 
Everything's changed. Fucking everything. You saw what happened. Can't even stand up to a couple of random dipsos. Where do I go from here? You'll learn to live like us regular folk. Avoid dark alleys, run when you hear gunfire. Not much more to it. <laughs> your bread and butter. Welcome to the world of the faces in the crowd, V. My ride will be here soon, but I still got a minute or two to talk. I really missed you, you know? Man, of all people, never thought I'd see you leaving Night City. Strange story, actually. You know what made me decide to leave? <sighs> Jackie's passing. I was in a really dark place then. But no, that's not it. My Fave Herbal store burned down one day. Went there to buy some white sage, and saw a charred mess instead. It was then I realized nothing's the same anymore. Jackie was gone, hewed up and ghosted. I decided to close the esoterica on the spot. I couldn't help other people find balance if I'd lost it myself. <sighs> Sorry, Misty. Wish I could help you, I do. You have helped. By staying alive. <laughs> you know what, Missy? Thanks. Likewise, V. Missy, can you just tell me what to do? Balanced or not, always had something smart to say. Hmm. I can tell you how I bounced out of the last dark pit I was in. Can you? Mm-hmm. Turned out that an old friend of mine is still alive. I think you're right. No point in giving up. Maybe... Dunno, I'll be a fixer. A change in your outlook's what you need first. Won't make it otherwise. Faces in the crowd. Their world, V. Remember that. A face in the crowd. So, somewhere to start anew? Gonna go looking? Gonna stay in and see. Do what I do best. Start over. No idea what's gonna happen, but I refuse to be beat. You really are unbreakable, V. My ride'll be here soon. Walk me to it. Don't 
don't go looking for it. Doesn't matter anymore. beat the biochip, and in a manner of speaking, Johnny. <laughs> Love to throw us for a loop, don't you, kid? The word is it cost you rather dearly. Sorry to hear that. Truly. Used to be quite a lot of talk about your exploits at the afterlife. Even had a few folks gunning for you to have your own concoction on the menu. Maybe we leave them secure in their convictions. Maybe... That's better. Don't get me wrong. Door's always open. You'll always be welcome at my club. But your legend? Well, could wilt a bit more with each visit. Give it a think. Not as if we'd ever forget you, you know? V, hey! Uh, I'll keep this short, huh? Uh, listen. It's... It's nice you tried to reach out to Pan Am. It's it's good to know that you're you're whole, you're you're all right. But um well, don't expect her to return your call, no. And and then don't try her again, if you can. When you uh, disappeared, it took her a while to get back on her feet. She's she's not one to get attached, but when she does, the hurt comes damn easily. Now, I know it's not what you intended, so I'm counting on your understanding. You shouldn't do that to yourself, to her. So just don't call. I look back at times on what happened. Think about you, Songbird. We did right, that I know. Why do I keep asking myself if I could have done things differently? You saw what she's capable of. I had to stop her. And maybe, maybe punish myself. Is that it? It fucking hurts, but it should hurt, shouldn't it? Hey, v, it didn't quite work out in our last talk, huh? What do you say to giving it another try? We'll drink some beers, watch a legacy fight. Downtime to look back upon fondly in our new lives. They're looking to redo the clinic. Sending me off to Frisco of all places. <sighs> a new beginning for everybody, I guess. Though I have to say, some proper closure could make it all easier to bear. It would, for me at least. You think you'd be up for that? <laughs> 